An exhibition titled Warriors, the History of the Ukrainian Army has opened in central Kyiv. It features 19 stories of the most significant battles, military methods, and types of weapons. Our correspondent, Natalia Chekatun, is there now. Hello, Natalia. Can you tell us more about the exhibit? Hello, Carrie, and happy Defenders Day. We are marking it today at Kiev's uh, Maidan Nezalezhnosti, where the Institute of National Remembrance presented the exhibition. As you said, it is called uh, The Warriors, the History of the Ukrainian Army. And you, as you said, it contains of 19 pictures. These are pictures of historical reenactors. They illustrate, um, they illustrate absolutely various stories uh, about military units from uh, starting from Kyiv and Rus. And uh, uh, it's also about the, uh, the Cossacks and the Ukrainian People's Republic, which existed uh, more than 100 years ago. I must say that. Uh, among the first one to um, look at these pictures was the hero of Ukraine, who also took part in uh, the war, Ihor Hordychuk. Glory to the men and women who are on the front lines now. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have gathered here. We would be worrying that Putin's bombs might hit us. Glory to the freedom-loving and hard-working people of Ukraine. Glory to Ukraine. So this exhibition is not just about the past, but also about modernity. Two of 19 placards of today's exhibition are devoted to the war in eastern Ukraine. This one placard, for example, is about volunteer battalions. And this woman is not a reenactor. It is Irina Tsvila who took part uh, in the war as a volunteer. He joined the military back in 2014. The price of peace matters, just like for the majority of people who fought. We must be active and not allow for everything that happened on Maidan and what we've been fighting for all these years to be disregarded. A lot has changed over these years. The only thing that hasn't is our desire for victory. So this uh, exhibition contains information about how these military formations were formed, how uh, they were established, and also about the major battles they were involved in. The exhibition will remain here uh, for two more weeks. Back to you, Carrie. Thank you, Natalia. That was our correspondent, Natalia Chekatun, reporting live from the, an exhibition dedicated to the history of the Ukrainian army.